Hey everybody, uh, back again, and I just dropped my Kindle for the first time ever, so I hope this works, because uh, it's like, no, <laughs> so hopefully I didn't screw anything up. Um, I'm here with a box opening, because, and I kind of mentioned this in an earlier video, um, the awesome, wonderful, amazing Gina is already, she's on YouTube here. And I'd say I'd link you, but every time I try to put a link in my video description, it doesn't want to save. It's like an error or something. So what am I doing wrong? I don't know. But every time I add the details, it doesn't want me or it doesn't let me save to process it through. So I'd link you, but I don't know how. But yeah, so Gina is awesome, and she um she did a video on her Fuku Fukuro opening. The bag things, Fuku Bukuro bags, is that right? Or is it, I don't want to say the, <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong word, but uh, yeah, so she did an opening on those, and then I was like, oh, I love the, the like, grab bag type thing, because it's, like, exciting, and I can't purchase them anywhere, so she was kind enough to offer to buy them for me if I sent her the funds, and then she sent them to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for those. And they're here. They're here, they're here. And the box got a little bit mushed. She did opening. So I hope nothing fell out. I already messaged her about that. I'm like, oh no. But I gotta open it because I gotta make sure everything's in here. So this is um, Doll Heart Fuku Bukuro Bags. Um, for a 70 centimeter boy, boys, yeah. And I don't think I flashed any addresses. I hope not. And I hope I didn't just cut anything. <laughs> oh, it's been so long since I opened something. But I want to open this so that I can save your address. <laughs> so I gotta be careful. I say that and then I go and. Oh dear lord. And I love the little skull tape. I gotta get some of that. That's cool. Anyway, okay, this might be open enough. Yes. Okay, so she sent me, she said she'd pop these in too for my boys. I said, I think the Crow Brothers will wear these little, what do they call these? Converse high top things? Because she said she doesn't really have any big boys, so thank you for these. I think BC will wear these because... Because he's like that. So yeah, he thanks you. I wish I would take them out, but if I take them out, this video will be... Oh, Charlie Horse on my foot. This video <laughs> um, will be... This really hurts. Sorry, hang on a sec. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> I just got off work and I'm sitting funny, so now my old bones keep on... Protesting. Let's sit differently so I don't have issues. Okay. But anyway, what was I saying? Um, yeah, if I take out the dolls and dress them in this video, this will be like a half hour long. So we don't want to do that. I just want to showcase the items and then hopefully Thanksgiving-ish, I'll have time to make another video and actually put them on somebody. Because I'm intending them for one person or for one doll if the style works. And... He's so skinny, I don't know if they're going to fit, but we'll see. If not, I think they'll work for two other ones. So, either way, someone's going to have clothes finally. Okay. Um. Yep, so she said I sent the bags and some stuff that she might be able to, she might, I might be able to use. <laughs> so thank you, Gina. And this is one of the extras she sent. So that's that. Those are cool. And then she sent this little thingy. Which you didn't have to do. But I love it. I love, really appreciate it. And uh. Oh I have an eyelash now. I'm falling apart. Okay. I don't want to start this off. <laughs> okay so she sent this little baggie. And inside the bag. Are really pretty eyes. Ooh. I like this holder too. Look how. I don't know if you can see the color. They're like. Sky blue ish. 
these might be really pretty in my new elf deck. Ooh, thank you. These are really nice. 18 millimeter. Hmm. We'll try to find somebody to fit those. I wonder if those would fit in my resin soul. I don't know what size she takes. I got a lot of stuff to put on people. Ooh, black wig. You know, I have been trying to find the perfect wig for three or more, three or more dolls. And this might work. This might work for either a spare one for the doctor, because Anne Picaro, she might the face up on him. He might have he has like a custom cut one, which I haven't shown you yet because he has a lot of backstory and I wanted to cover specify just his story, so I haven't had time to do him yet. But this might be a spare for him, or I wonder if this would look good on Ribbon. Riven's the one who these clothes are intended for. That's why I'm like, I don't know if a super skinny, dull she origin, origin, is that how you say it? I don't know if they'll fit him because they're meant for like Volk beefier ones, but he doesn't like to be on camera if he doesn't have his wig. I thought, oh God, sorry, <laughs> I just flung it. I thought uh, <clears throat> I ordered him one, like a silver one. And either it hasn't come yet, or it came and I didn't like it, and I didn't realize that it was the one I had intended for him. So, I, he still doesn't have a wig, because I thought I ordered it from Angel Studios, and they sent me two fur ones. But I thought I got a silver synthetic one, too, and that might not have come. I don't know. I better double check my order from, like, <laughs> August <laughs> So yeah, so somebody still is looking for a wig, so that might work for him. Oh, these are cool. Little goggle things. Goggle things or a mask? Is this like steampunky? Goggles? Hmm. BC might like these too. Or are these too small? I'll have to play with these. So I still, look, just eyeballing stuff. I still don't... Okay, I got confused here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, there's extra paper scraps. I don't know where they came from. Um, But I just eyeball items like accessories and clothes and stuff. I don't know. I still don't know if they're for MSD or not. Because I was stupid enough to try to Blythe dress on um, Badger and I ripped it. Because to me it looked like it was going to fit. So I still don't understand. <laughs> Sizes. Okay, here's the first bag. Gina, I hope you're watching. This is exciting. I know she's been waiting for me to do this video for like forever. So that's why I feel bad that it took me forever. Oh, this is weird. This is weird. This is supposed to be a 70 centimeter bag. But they sent like two different hats. See, one's bigger than the other. This is like MSD size, I think. And this is SD. Right? Again, I don't understand sizes. This will work for my little urchin boy. Because even though it has clips on, he's a little bitty USD. It'll work for him. He needs clothes too. Oh my god. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> okay, so he's going to have to be in a video too. Those are cute. Okay, so far we got a win. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. Oh, guys. Maybe they're both MSD hats. I don't care. The point is, the one will fit my little guy. For sure. That's exciting. Okay, I think I've seen other people get this one. Maybe last year. It's like a velvety corsety thing. And I don't think that fits Riven's aesthetic. But I wonder if I can put this on... Hmm. This might go to my dragon dragon guy? Deity lord thing? I don't know if I... I opened him. He's a... Oh, man. He's a something. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I don't know what he is. He's a... Let me think about that while I keep opening. 
Anyway, this could go for somebody. Oh my god, what it what make it what doll is he? Um mm. Okay. Total blank. Just Oh dear god. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> this brain is faulty. And I'm already on 10 minutes? How do most people get so much information across in like 6 minutes? And I feel like I'm talking not very long. It's already 10 minutes in. Like I feel like I've been talking not very much. These are cool. See, these look like they could, they could go for the doctor. These look like doctorish shoes. He's on his feet all day. He works hard. These are really nice. Man, you know, Dollheart does amazing stuff. Like, they have such cool... And then there's zippers on the back. Oh, I wish my light was better. So they unzip in the back. So they should slide right on. And he's a Zoom. He's a Zoom. <laughs> I don't remember the sculpt names. Oh my gosh. Anyway, he's bigger. They should fit him. What is he? Oh, you guys. I swear to God, I am losing my freaking mind. Okay. And then we've got a top that looks kind of circusy, actually. So this one. Although very freaking awesome. I don't think it'll fit my doll sheet board, but look at the details on these. I cannot believe they can sell a whole bag of like outfit stuff for what was it three bags for a hundred thirty or something like to me this it's so incredibly detailed all this stuff it's like how do you sell it for so cheap and then you go somewhere else and it's like one shirt is 50 bucks you know you know what i'm saying so this is a really good deal i love these bags this is cool a little brown messenger bag type thing. This I think is going to either be long to my Dulce the school story with the the girl who uses former diesel as her muse. I think this will be my Dulce Rosen's bag. Mm, I love this! And it opens I don't know if I showed you. It opens and it has inside stuff that's so cool but it's like a messenger bag so anybody really could use this but i think that'll be part of my college story that i've got going on and i was gonna put these back in the bags i got them from but i don't want to waste time because i seem to be really good at that wasting time <laughs> oh man okay i'm all thumbed so that's gonna have to wait and then there's this little necktie with a chain on it, which could easily be a hair bow for a girl if I decide to do that. And I think it's missing, no, it's got a little clasp on it. No, it's missing the little claspy part. So I have to put a clasp on it, but it's missing the little hook part. So I can always fix that though. This could be a hair a hair thingy for one of my girls, maybe. If not, because I don't think my guys wear bow ties. I don't think BC would wear a bow tie. It's kind of picky. <laughs> yes. And then we've got, I'm assuming, oh, I thought these were pants. This is a very, very detailed, ruffly fronted shirt with buttons. And I can't believe they can make something like this is amazing if this is a shirt for a person it would even be a lot so elaborate I would be like oh my god this I think mr. mr. Ori origin I want to say a region origin I think he could riven that the one that has a name I don't talk, call him by his name riven can definitely I think will pull that off he's kind of since he's immortal, he's kind of old schoolish, and there's some nice black 
like trouser pants. These I might use for my little, not little, for my, uh, these look big enough that they'd fit um, my clone, blind clone. His name was <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh God. Okay. You know who I'm talking about. Okay. There's so much in this one bag. There's still more. I'm 15 minutes in and this is only the first bag. Guys, am I just this slow? I got to move this along maybe. Is this like a cummerbund? I don't know what this is. I think it's meant to be a cummerbund. And I don't think I was supposed to unfold it like that. Ugh. Okay, it went back to, it, it repleted itself. I'm like, I'm going to unfold it. <laughs> that was a bad idea. So there's that. Holy, there's like so much stuff in here. Okay, this is the last thing. Oh, I like this. This is something that, you know, it's weird because ugh, my little um, orphan dude, my little urchin boy, has like a, ugh, his story is complicated too because he's got a, like a person that watches him and keeps him out of trouble. But he's like SD side. It's weird because... The character I know is like a little kid, but this other guy's like an older guard, like in the king, like castle guard or whatever kingdom, and he's also like a former spy for them. But anyway, he keeps an eye on the kid. This would be an awesome outfit for him. This cool vest with the, you know what I mean? Put a white shirt under that. This would be a really cool outfit for him. Because it kind of blends in because it's like a drab color. So you can like spy on everybody and keep an eye out. So that might be for him. If not for Riven. Because yeah, Riven's going to get most of this if it fits him. But doll shoes are so skinny and hard to like find stuff for. Because there's three different body sizes that I have. And it's like, oh dear lord dude, what are you doing? Okay, this is a 13. 13 boy? What was this one? 52. This is a 70 centimeter. And this was a 13. Boy, what's that mean? That's T13. Okay, so this is like the one step down. So maybe this stuff will fit my mafia boy. That I was... Oh, I can't even untie the knot! <laughs> that, um... My new resin soul girl go with. But I have quite a few in this size range too, so I do believe this stuff will be useful. Oh man! Okay, maybe this stuff will fit ribbon. Although this is kind of fluky for him, but. And this stuff I'm gonna put to this side, because I'm gonna put stuff back, I think, or it'll get all wrinkled. So this is. A really nice shirt that like ties in the back. Okay, this might go with the spy guy. This could be paired with this. Ah! And of course the spy, like the the castle guard dude, spy is also the doctor. Because I sent them to get face-ups. Him and the urchin got face-ups together. And somehow I got the vibe of, I don't know if you're just the doctor or not. And I didn't want a doll to double up. Because then it's like, it's going to take away from one of the character's stories because I'm going to focus on one more than the other. And I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> but I think it's going to, so. And then there's this vest, which I think is kind of one of my Dolce Boys style. One of the college dudes. I think he would wear that. And then, I got a random shoe float in here. What do we got? Looks like white pants white pants. See, to me, this looks like SD 72, but I could be wrong. Let's compare, shall we? No, they are shorter. Okay. Just a little teeny bit. So, this is for the shorter dolls. So, okay. So, these white pants should fit my mafia guy. And that actually would work if I could make a suit out of something. Because he needs a suit. 
The doctor needs a suit, Ribbon needs a suit, and my mafia guy needs a suit. The girl's easier to dress. She's all leather and lace and attitude. She'd be easier to dress. But doll suits are so hard to find. These shoes are cool. They're like loafers. Is that what you call them? I've never bought guy clothes, so I don't know. In real life. So I don't know, because none of the guys I know wear fancy dress-up stuff, so... Loafers! And little silica packets. <laughs> So these are like leather loafery things with hard soles. These are kind of nice. These are nice. Those I think might go to one of the college boys again. And there's another wig. Which I don't understand why I have so much trouble with hair nets. But this wig... I don't know who that would be for, but it's a nice, like, caramely blonde color. So this could easily go for... Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to play with that. Because in my head, it's like everybody either has silver hair or black hair or brown hair. Or blonde. I have a lot of blondes, but, like, for some reason, the immortal, magical-type dudes need... I just made a mess of putting this back. <laughs> Whoops. Your nuts are hard. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the magically, magical type immortal or deity dudes or the Crow Brothers. They either have white, gray, 